Welcome to your channel, Top Destinations. Today we are going to take you on a fascinating journey through the island of Madagascar, a jewel nestled in the Indian Ocean. From its scenic roads to its stunning landscapes, from vibrant local life to diverse spiritual beliefs and unique modes of transport, get ready to submarine in the richness and diversity of Madagascar. Today, let's dive into the heart of the Malagasy capital, Antananarivo, more familiarly called Tana. This dynamic city full of contrasts reflects both the rich history of Madagascar and its turning point towards the future. Follow us for an exploration of this unique metropolis, nestled in the highlands of the island. Antananarivo extends over the hills and valleys of the Malagasy Islands. The panoramic views from the heights offer a breathtaking spectacle, where the colorful buildings mingle with the lush natural landscapes. This overview gives you an overview of the various neighborhoods and scale of the city. The mountain roads of Madagascar. Nestled in the heart of the highlands, these routes offer thrilling adventures and breathtaking views. In this video, we will explore the unique charms and challenges of the mountain roads of this enchanting island. The mountain roads of Madagascar take you through landscapes worthy of a postcard. From verdant mountains to enchanting valleys, every turn reveals a new facet of the island's natural beauty. Prepare for exhilarating journeys, because the mountain roads of Madagascar are anything but straight. These winding roads wind through the hills, offering panoramic views at every turn. Each ascent and each descent has a surprise in store for you. Navigating the Malagasy mountain roads requires skill and concentration. Drivers have to deal with narrow roads, tight turns, and steep drops. However, each challenge is rewarded with breathtaking scenery. Mountain roads are not just passages, they are lives in their own right. The villages perched on the roadside offer a glimpse of local life. You will be able to meet friendly inhabitants, admire their traditional dwellings, and share a moment with them. The mountain roads hide natural treasures that only adventurers have the chance to discover. From crystal clear waterfalls to secluded lakes to scenic viewpoints, each stop is an invitation to explore further. Freight transport is an essential link in the global economy, but it is not without its challenges. From bumpy roads to unpredictable weather conditions, freight transport challenges can vary depending on region and infrastructure. In this video, We'll explore the challenges freight carriers face and the innovative solutions to overcome them. One of the major challenges in freight transport is inadequate infrastructure. Unpaved roads, poor bridges, and limited transportation routes can cause goods to move efficiently, extend transit times, and reduce costs. Extreme weather conditions, such as storms, floods, and snowstorms, can seriously disrupt freight transport. Impassable routes and delays caused by inclement weather can lead to financial loss and delays for customers. Complex customs formalities and border controls can significantly slow down the transport of goods. Carriers must ensure regulatory compliance, which can lead to delays and additional administrative costs. Supply chain management is a constant challenge for freight transport companies. Coordinating the various stages, from loading to delivery, including storage and distribution, requires careful planning to avoid delays and stockouts. Faced with these challenges, the freight transport industry is adopting innovative solutions. Real-time tracking technologies, the use of predictive data and improved infrastructure are all ways to optimize operations and reduce transport-related problems. The transport of goods in Madagascar is a mixture of tradition and innovation, where ancient means of transport coexist with modern methods. These modes of transport are an integral part of daily life, dependent on the regions and contribute to the dynamic economy of the island. Transporting goods in Madagascar is not without its challenges. Bumpy roads, unpredictable weather conditions, and limited infrastructure can make travel difficult. However, residents and transporters are showing resilience to get goods to where they are needed, not without its challenges. Bumpy roads, unpredictable weather conditions, and limited infrastructure can make travel difficult. However, residents and transporters 
are showing resilience to get goods to where they are needed. Trucks play a vital role in transporting goods through the varied roads of Madagascar. From towns to remote villages, these rugged vehicles carry a variety of goods, from agricultural produce to building materials. In the economic fabric of Madagascar, the transport of goods plays an essential role. From bustling lanes to country roads, the island's diverse means of transportation are the engine that keeps goods flowing through varied landscapes and vibrant communities. In remote corners of Madagascar, where access to electricity can be limited, locals have developed clever methods to preserve their food without using refrigeration. Among these methods, the use of salt for the preservation of meat occupies a special place. The salting process involves salvaging the meat from salt, both outside and inside. This technique can be used for different types of meats, from fish to ground meats like pork or beef. Once salted, meats are often hung or air-dried to assist in the preservation process. The Zoma market in Antananarivo, the capital of Madagascar, is one of the largest open-air markets in the country. Here, street vendors transport and display their varied wares, ranging from clothing to food items, creating a colorful kaleidoscope of Malagasy daily life. Porterage was one of the first methods of transporting goods by man. Sacks, baskets, or even animals were carried on the carrier's backs, shoulders, or heads. This method has been widely used to cross difficult terrain or areas without infrastructure. Even in the modern era, human transport of goods remains a reality in some regions. From street vendors to bike delivery people, humans are adapting these traditional methods to meet today's needs. In rural areas and local markets in Madagascar, porters play a crucial role in transporting goods. Whether bags of rice, fruits, vegetables, or other products, porters carry heavy loads on their shoulders with amazing agility. Wheelbarrows are also used to help transport goods through narrow lanes and rough terrain. Zebu carts, or tevi, are an iconic means of transport in Madagascar. These carts drawn by zebus, domestic cattle, are used to transport a variety of goods, from building materials to agricultural products. They are especially useful in rural areas where motorized vehicles have a hard time. The transport of goods by man in Madagascar is not limited to a simple logistics method. It plays a crucial role in creating economic opportunities for many people. Street vendors and porters contribute to the local economy while forging ties. Zebu carts are an emblematic symbol of the transport of goods in Madagascar. These hardy animals pull carts loaded with local produce, from crops to building materials. This traditional method of transportation has been rooted in Malagasy culture for generations. Taxis bruce are a popular means of transport for residents and goods. These colorful minibuses crisscross the routes, transporting passengers and goods to various destinations. The taxis bruce are often overloaded and testify to the dynamic life of the island. The Vajimba embody a precious part of the cultural wealth of Madagascar. The traditional way of life, their customs, and their resilience in the face of modern challenges make them a fascinating tribe to discover. The Vajimba face challenges such as limited access to basic services and modern health care. However, sustainability and cultural preservation initiatives are underway to support the tribe and preserve their unique heritage. The Vajimba people live in harmony with nature, taking advantage of local resources for their livelihood. Agriculture, fishing, and hunting are central to their way of life. Their traditional houses, built from natural materials, create their deep connection with the environment. Due to their isolated location, the Vajimba had little interaction with the outside world. However, these interactions have intensified over time, bringing outside influences to their traditional way of life. The Vajimba are one of many tribes that inhabit remote areas of Madagascar. Their origins date back to ancient times, and their history is woven with legends and traditions passed down from generation to generation. The Vajimba have developed a rich culture, characterized by unique rituals and beliefs. 
Their dances, songs, and ceremonies are a living expression of their cultural identity. Ancestors figure prominently in their belief system, and their veneration is central to the tribe's religious traditions. In the heart of the picturesque and diversified landscapes of Madagascar, hide villages that seem frozen in time. These hidden villages offer a rare and precious insight into traditional Malagasy life, unspoiled by modern influences. The hidden villages of Madagascar are generally located far from the usual tourist paths. To reach them, visitors must follow narrow paths, cross lush forests and cross hills, creating a sense of adventure and discovery. In these isolated villages, the inhabitants continue to live according to ancestral traditions. Agriculture, fishing, and handicrafts are the mainstays of their way of life. Traditional houses made of local materials distance the deep attachment of these communities to their roots. Hidden villages are custodians of ancient knowledge passed down from generation to generation. The locals share traditional farming techniques, legendary stories, and craft practices, thus preserving their unique cultural heritage. One of the outstanding characteristics of these villages is their proximity to nature. Surrounded by mountains, rivers, and forests, the inhabitants have a deep relationship with their environment, taking advantage of natural resources to support themselves. Living in a hidden village can come with challenges, such as limited access to healthcare and modern education. However, these villages also offer a certain autonomy and a peaceful quality of life, far from the hustle and bustle of urban areas. The hidden villages of Madagascar are much more than tourist destinations. They are the guardians of a rich culture, a deep history, and a way of life in harmony with nature. Madagascar is renowned for its endemic species, that is, animals and plants that are found nowhere else on Earth. Lemurs, with their unique behavior, are the emblematic of the island. Plus, the brilliantly colored chameleons and bizarre insects showcase Madagascar's extraordinary biodiversity. The national parks and reserves of Madagascar protect these unique biological treasures. For example, Andesabi Mantadia National Park is home to the famous Indri, the largest living lemur. The Isolo National Park offers stunning scenery, while the Ankarana Special Reserve is home to impressive limestone rock formations and caves. Madagascar's diverse geography has spawned a range of ecosystems from tropical rainforests to desert areas. These ecosystems are home to a variety of animals, reptiles, birds, and plants adapted to specific environments. Unfortunately, Madagascar's wildlife faces serious threats, primarily deforestation due to illegal logging and slash and burn agriculture. These activities jeopardize the natural habitats of endemic species, endangering their long-term survival. Fortunately, many conservation efforts are being made to protect Madagascar's wildlife. Local and international organizations work together to preserve habitats, raise awareness, and promote sustainable practices. The wildlife of Madagascar is a unique and fragile treasure. Its importance goes well beyond the borders of the island, as it illustrates the importance of preserving global biodiversity. Life in Madagascar is marked by a diversity of activities and traditions. In rural areas, agriculture and fishing maintain essential livelihoods. The colorful markets are the beating heart of the communities, where exchanges of local products and crafts create a strong social bond. Religion plays an important role in the lives of Malagasy people. The island is a mixture of animist, Christian, and Muslim beliefs. Churches and mosques take center stage in communities, providing space for prayer, rituals, and spiritual connection. Internal immigration is a significant phenomenon in Madagascar. Residents often migrate from rural areas to urban centers in search of economic and educational opportunities. This internal migration has shaped the cities and contributed to the cultural diversity of the island. External immigration also plays a role in Malagasy life. People from other African, Asian, and European countries have established communities in Madagascar. 
This enriched the country's culture, but also posed challenges related to integration and identity. Despite socioeconomic and cultural changes, many Malagasy traditions are preserved with pride. Cultural celebrations, dances, music, and crafts continue to be passed on to future generations. Life in Madagascar is a complex web woven with the threads of tradition, diversity, and adaptation. From daily activities to life-changing events, the people of Madagascar are shaping their own future while celebrating their rich heritage. If this exploration captivated you, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to your channel, Top Destinations, for more fascinating stories. Thank you for joining us and see you soon for new exciting discoveries.